Apple's celebrated crime comedy series Bad Monkey continues to pull unexpected twists and turns in Episode 7, A Total Cat Person. Vince Vaughn leads the cast of Bad Monkey as the typically good-spirited and witty Andrew Yancey, who initially wanted to get his job as a detective back before becoming a fugitive and murder suspect in Episode 6. After his best friend Roe betrays him to save his career and saves him at the last minute, exposing the crooked cop Mendez for framing Yancey in the murder of Israel O'Peel, the two team up to catch Mendez and bring him to justice. At the end of Bad Monkey Episode 6, Nick and Eve intimidate Grace, aka the Dragon Queen, by kidnapping her and Rosa finds a badly wounded Neville who was shot by Egg. The first two episodes of Bad Monkey showcase the interwoven narratives of several main characters, including Nick and Neville, which now overlap in interesting ways. Scrubs alum Zach Braff made a guest appearance in Bad Monkey Episode 3 as the short-lived drug-addled Dr. O'Peel, while Bad Monkey Episode 4 went back in time to reveal how Nick and Eve planned their extreme insurance scam, while Bad Monkey Episode 5 saw the shocking return of Plovers, aka Bonnie, inappropriate love interest Cody. Who are the three gunmen at the end of Bad Monkey Episode 7? Yancey, Vince Vaughn, and Rosa, Natalie Martinez, cuddling on the sofa in Bad Monkey Season 1 Episode 7 image via Apple TV+. One of the most shocking moments of Bad Monkey Episode 7 was the very last shot of three armed gunmen slowly approaching Yancey's house. While Yancey has made many enemies throughout the series and likely has plenty more that could be introduced in future seasons of Bad Monkey, there's only a handful of options for who these armed gunmen could be. The most likely outcome is that they are hired hands of Nick and Eve, who know where Yancey lives. They could also humorously be hired by the pesky realtor Evan who Yancey has antagonized throughout the series. Additionally, they could be the drug smugglers that Rosa encountered earlier in the previous episode. How Yancey got his gun and badge back, and how he could already lose it. Yancey, Vince Vaughn, pointing a gun at Mendez in Bad Monkey Season 1 Episode 7 image via Apple TV+. Yancey gets his gun and badge back and is no longer a food inspector, getting reinstated as a detective in the Florida Keys in Bad Monkey Episode 7. Immediately after jumping back in the line of duty, he is met by a superior who is looking into Nick and Eve's insurance fraud case, which people are starting to believe thanks to Neville, who snapped photos of a one-armed Nick down on Andrus. Yancey soon discovers while he's being questioned about Nick stripling and the insurance fraud that there is a much greater focus on getting Nick's financial assets back than there is on bringing Nick and Eve to justice. Yancey, who seems to always have his heart in the right place, still wants to take Nick and Eve down, but now has strict orders not to, or else he will lose his recently recovered badge. Yancey is realizing that he had more freedom doing his detective work when he wasn't actually a detective. Knowing him, and considering the fact that Nick tried to kill him outside his own house, he will almost certainly be going after Nick and Eve in future episodes of Bad Monkey. Gracie reveals to Yuya that she doesn't believe in her magic powers. Yuya, L. Scott Caldwell, discovers that Dragon Queen forged the deeds to a property in Bad Monkey Season 1 Episode 7 image via Apple TV+. Bad Monkey Episode 7 reveals more backstory about how Gracie became the Dragon Queen in the first place, showing more of her character as Gracie before she dedicated her life to this mystical persona. After Yuya finds out that Gracie stole the land and tried to sell it to Nick and Eve, she starts to realize that Gracie is much more devious and stubborn than she had ever known before. While Gracie is breaking free of the Dragon Queen persona and just being herself, she confesses that she never believed in magic in the first place, which stuns and hurts Yuya. Yuya says that Gracie is now getting in the middle of the curse she made earlier to help Neville against Nick. Apparently, Gracie did not believe in what she and Yuya were doing when Neville came to them earlier in the series, or any of their rituals and mystic practices for that matter. When Yuya says goodbye to Gracie at the end of Bad Monkey Episode 7, there is a sense of finality to it, suggesting that Gracie may actually be in harm's way and could die before the end of the series.